Hi, it's Kevin from Kevin's Classroom. We're going to do quite a long one, this one. This is a problem that was sent to me. It's a truck accelerating up a slope. Here we have our truck over here, and this truck is accelerating. It's got a V initial of 3 meters per second at the bottom, and they tell me a V final is equal to 6 meters per second at the top, and they have given me 10 degrees, and they've told me the total length is 300 meters of this slope. Right, that's what we're interested in is the 300 meters. So straight away, obviously, from basic, from basic trig, you can work out what H is going to be. But let's have a look at uh, what they want to know is they want me to calculate the power of the engine. Okay, power of the engine, work done, and time need to come into this. So first of all, let's have a look at the, the, the forces. Straight away, I can say you are going to be 6,000 if G is equal to 6,000 times 9.8, which is going to be equal to 58,800. Remember, the recipe says do this then. Find F perpendicular and F parallel. The one is going to be sine. Opposite is sine. That's 10 degrees up there. So F perpendicular is going to be 58,800. Cos of 10 is going to be 57,906. Okay. And the next one over here is going to be 10,210.5 newtons. Right. They've also told me uh, that on this, mu is equal to 0 0.5. So obviously I've got frictional forces. Let's draw the free body diagram. Right, the free body diagram is going to look like this. I have got FF, and coming down the slope, I have got F parallel, which I've just worked out, which is going to be 10 to 10, 0, 0.5 newtons. I've also got here F perpendicular, which is 57,906. Why do I want this one? I want it because of the friction, and I say FF is going to be equal to, this then is F of the engine, is going to be 0 0.5 times F normal, F normal in this case is going to be 57,906, why? Because there's no oblique forces acting on this truck. So therefore, there we've got it. I can now say okie dokie, um, therefore uh, my F of friction is going to be 0 0.5 times 57906 and my FF comes out to be 28953. Okay, so we've now got everybody. Let's have a look at the let's have a look at the energy equation. The energy equation that we're going to be looking at is the work done by non-conservative forces is equal to delta EK plus delta EP. I like to think of this is work done to accelerate or decelerate. Work done to gain or lose EP. All right, let's start. Let's have a look first. Delta EK. So delta EK is going to be a half M V final squared minus V initial squared. So I put that down. It's going to be a half 6,000 times V Final was 6 meters per second minus 3 meters per second. So my change in EK is 81,000 joules. What did I do? I had to use some force of an engine to, to accelerate me. Then I look at my delta EP. Delta EP is going to be MG H final minus H initial. Whoops. I always do that because the H initial... And I say, okay, that is going to be equal to M is 6,000 times 9.8. H final, now if I do a little drawing, remember, this is my H over here. H initial was 0, H final was plus, and it's going to be equal to 300 sine 10. 300 sine of 10 degrees is actually 52.09 meters. That's how far I climbed, so I can say 52.09 minus 0. Note that this could be negative. It could be added back in. That is going to be 306. 
you do get big numbers. 3153.85 joules. Okay? Therefore, note that they are both positive in this case. And they are both positive because I'm doing work to accelerate and I'm doing work to get myself up the hill. The last is work done to non-conservative forces is always going to be the force times it's the work done by the engine plus work done by friction, which is always going to be negative. So that's going to be the force of the engine okay, times 300 plus minus 28953 times 300 because it must be negative. You're actually using to overcome 306, 3153, 0.8. Okay. So therefore, the force of the engine is going to be equal to 81,000 plus 306, 3153, 0 0.8. Uh, and then I'm going to be plus 868. 5900 newtons, right? This is work done to accelerate. This is work done to gain height. And this is work done to overcome friction. Work done to overcome friction. Think about it logically. Take a car, play with it, and you'll see. Therefore, the F of the engine times the 300, of course, times 300 is equal to that. So therefore, the F of the engine is going to be equal to 39,433. 433.5. And I can say also that the work done by the engine, work done by the engine is going to be that number times 300 is going to be equal to 1, 1, Eight three zero zero five three point eight joules. Right, and power is equal to work done over time. I need time, guys. How do I find? I've got to go to Newton's laws of motion to find time, don't I? So how do I do that? I now have to say I need acceleration. Acceleration I can get from um, here. I can say v. V final squared is V initial squared plus 2A times delta X. Therefore, 6 squared is going to be equal to 3 squared plus 2A times, and that's going to be 300. Therefore, my acceleration is going to be 0 0.045 meters per second squared. And I can say at this point, I could say F net if I wanted to. F net is going to be... 6,000 times A, which is 0 0.045, which is equal to 270 newtons, if I wanted to do that. Lastly, I say, all right, how long did it take me? V final equals V initial plus A times T. 6 equals 3 plus 0 0.045 T. So therefore, T is going to be equal to, just going to scroll it down, T is going to be equal to 66.67 seconds. 66.67 seconds is my time. Therefore, the power is going to be equal to uh, the 1183005. Just go back and check. 0053. 53.8 divided by 66.67. And it comes out to be uh, 177.4 kilowatts. Okay. And that's how we do that. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye.